a historic first for the country's armed forces. The U.S. Navy is now the third branch of the military to no longer have a Senate-confirmed leader. Retiring Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Gilday gave up command today. His nominated replacement is one of more than 300 military officers whose promotions are stalled by Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville in a protest of Pentagon reproductive health policies. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says it's past time to confirm the nominations. This is unprecedented, it is unnecessary, and it is unsafe. And this sweeping hold is undermining America's military readiness. It's hindering our ability to retain our very best officers. And it is upending the lives of far too many American military families. Our troops deserve better. He says Admiral Lisa Franchetti will leave the Navy in an acting capacity until her nomination is confirmed. She's expected to become the first woman to command the service and become a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff if and when the Senate confirms her.